What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World and a lot of you guys kind of sneaked in and saw that Ed Reed was already created in the previous video. If you were one of those spies, aka dude is just ready to snitch, go ahead and drop a three in the comments if you saw Ed Reed chilling uh, in the previous video. Well, um, the reason that he was there is because Deion Sanders got mauled so hard in one of my recent games because I put him back to free safety because I'm patiently waiting for Sean Taylor because Sean Taylor has to play. You know what I'm saying? Like the dude's the GOAT, he has to play. So I don't want to spend the money and keep any other player that I'm going to have at that position. A guy like Ed Reed, he can be good for now because, you know, if, when it comes time to sell him, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? People are going to always have a place for Ed Reed on their squads, especially a lot of the teams that he played for. So it's not going to be an issue, you know, getting rid of Ed Reed. You know, but if I go and spend that five million for Calvin, I've already tried Calvin out, by the way, and I raid sold him, but the golden ticket Calvin is probably the best, you know, free safety in the game right now. But something about Sean Taylor is going to make him really glitchy. And no, Sean Taylor will not have abilities because what I'm going to probably do is continue to do what I'm doing now. Two of my, you know, my front seven, uh, whoever I pick, I just know that I have to have sat with actual abilities and then somebody else. Right now, it's Lawrence Taylor. That's how we're going to roll for the remainder of the year. Going into Madden 21, that's what we're doing. But obviously, this guy is a 99 zone savage beast. And the thing about these 99 zone, uh, when you see them in their last tier, they do kind of give you guys, you know, better animations, better type of reactions to the ball when in zone coverage. So it's going to be very, very interesting because I'm going to let you guys see actual gameplay within this video uh, as we go through and continue to get everything all set up with Ed Reed. Now, look. Don't get me wrong, in my opinion, Ed Reed is one of the greatest, like, I don't know, they have him as, I'm just going to say safety, he's one of the greatest of all time, obviously, you know what I'm saying, you know, Ronnie Lott has to be number one on my list, but Ed Reed is right there, like, it's not even a question about, like, this dude is unbelievable, you know, so it's not about what he really was, it's about Madden 20, and that's what a lot of you guys started to learn, a lot of you guys that, you know, first watch one of my videos, you guys are like, yo, bro, you be calling everybody garbage, what's up, I'm not talking about the actual players in certain cases, if a player is garbage to me in real life, I will tell you. I will say that, um, you know, and it won't be an issue. But guys like Ed Reed, these these guys are like, dog, he, he's, he's a monster. Top two of all time, in my opinion, at the safety position. So it is what it is. Like, I, that's where I am with it. Um, but again, right now for what we're doing up until they get ready to release Sean Taylor's next card, I think that he's going to be a suitable fill-in. Because will he get mossed? I think he's an inch shorter than uh, Deion Sanders, but... It's not even about the fact that he got mossed. It's about the way that he got mossed. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to get mossed, like, let me know. Hit me with, hit me in the text. Tell me, uh, let me know. Like, yo, I'm going to come pick your moms up. Like, but don't get mossed the way that he did. And it was really, really crazy uh, the way that he did it. So with all of that being said, I was just like, yo, you know what? I'm not going to be dealing with this. I am not going to be sitting around here and waiting to see what happens. Like, it's not going to happen. So with all of that... Um, coming together, I'm like, we gotta take a chance. You guys were raving about Ed Reed. Like, yo, Jemai, you gotta get this guy. He's the guy, yo, bro. I'm like, all right, if you guys are so excited about this, I'm gonna give it a try. So looking at it right here, you kind of see, all right, 99 play rec, that 99 zone coverage in green though, I'm not gonna lie, it definitely turned me on to excessive levels. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are running around like Nick Chubb in my pants right now after seeing that, because when you just see it in green, you just know that EA is going to cheat for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that they gave him an 89 tackle, though. That's kind of cheesy, because Ed Reed was pretty good uh, with getting dudes like on the ground and hit-sticking their brains out of their helmet. But that's not what this is about. We're going to go ahead and see what that green zone coverage is all about. And you know what's hilarious about it? I'm going to actually zone Ed Reed for a specific zone on a play with the opponent that I'm going to run into uh, in this gameplay. And you guys are going to be able to see just how 99 zone really, really works. Like It's like... I couldn't believe what he did, but, you know, we'll wait to get to that point. Right here, what we're doing is we're using what's called the secondary positions. Obviously, the Madden goats, the Madden gurus, all you guys out there that know about the secondary positions, you understand that you could put them in other positions and let them keep their chems um, and everything going right. I don't want to really take um, Pat Tillman out of the lineup because having him in the game, you know, sometimes he'll come out there like when people get tired and he'll just make a random play. You know what I'm saying? Like even without his abilities or whatever, He'll just make a random play. So I don't want to take Pat Tillman out the game. So I think it was better right now, temporarily, to remove Sean Taylor, okay? Just because we're not really using him. 
So just remove him right now and then we'll bring him back, you know, when he gets his new card and then, you know, everything will be all well and good. But I just think it's better that way. So don't worry about it with him being a 97 uh, at the free safety position, which doesn't make any sense because the dude played free safety. It's weird that they just put him at strong safety, but whatever. He keeps all of his chems, he keeps all of his ratings and everybody is good. Now all we have to do is jump into a game and see, is he really that good? Is the guy really ready to go? If we put him out there, can he make a play? If somebody tries to moss me into another galaxy, is that going to make it crazy? You see what I'm saying? Like, is, is that gonna make me go insane? I gotta go ahead and check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it uh, right now and see what's happening with it. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into the gameplay right now. This dude, obviously, when you see Patrick Mahomes and he has abilities on, more than likely you're gonna be playing somebody that wants to run around and throw the ball at their back foot with both their butt cheeks out and no eye sockets in. So that's actually perfect for what I do because I make sure you can't run outside the pocket. So it always works out, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I run into guys like this because that's what they do. Um, it is an interesting form of offense though because people are gonna complain about different versions of offense. Oh, yo, g -Bio, all you do is throw streaks. Well, I don't think it's like, skill to run outside the pocket every snap and throw the ball across your body on a post route but i don't care if i play somebody and he beats me like that it's my fault so people are going to complain no matter what the problem is i don't care see so you guys shouldn't care either you see what i'm saying for you guys that are running streaks people are going wild like yo bro what you doing it don't matter everybody has their way of playing um with the way that this is like he comes out with more stability activated not knowing that night train don't play that you see what i'm saying bro and that's one-on-one -on -one coverage like bro you're not getting that off and because he did that, it made me go into a blind rage. So now he's gonna have to deal with everything else that's coming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, hike it. So look, right now, this is where it starts off, right? You see like how he's sitting in the pocket? He recognizes with the way that the defense is set up that it's like a bait. Because you see how close they are inside? It makes it look like it's okay to run outside. Because usually when you play guys that don't know how to do uh, certain defenses that contains, they'll spread the guys out wide. So that'll let your opponent know not to move outside and to take everything inside. I keep them I keep them bunched up, bro. So like, yeah, go ahead, yeah, look, it, it, everything is pretty, don't worry about it. And then run outside. And then dudes just start screaming. But oh, why did he just roll, who is that? Was that Pat Simmons who just rolled into the screen at the end of that? So yeah, it doesn't really, oh, oh, yeah, at your mom's crib, at your mom's crib, baby. That's how we do. So let, let's get it, let's get it, don't really matter. Let, let's go, let's go. Um, so like I was saying, right, with a lot of these guys that you play, this is very, very, um, you know, it's masked because you don't you don't know what's happening. Like, dude, you see what I'm saying? Like, right there, he got outside the pocket, but I, the way that I adjusted it, he got lucky on that because the guy, like, you see like how right there, the, the guy just shot through? Usually it depends on like the blitz angles and stuff, but I have to watch. And then remember, this guy was motioning and doing a lot of other things because what happens is when you play certain people that understand the game, they'll motion guys around and it actually changes the angles of what's going on. But you can see he's consistently blocking seven and he's getting sacked instantly. So we're not really worried about it. And speaking of sack, I'm getting sacked right now. So let's just have a party. Like, what, what, yo, bruh, what is my offensive line doing? I don't even know what they were doing in most cases. Okay, let me see what let me see what this guy's doing. Okay, um, why did he just move all the way back there? All right, good, he blocked him, but that guy came free. Who was that over there? I don't know who that was. Was that OJ Howard? That dude's garbage, man, he can't block. And then I just threw a pick. So everything is starting to get crazy. This dude right here, he's like, yo, I got a chance to see what I can do. But again, I, if this is his offense, it's kind of highly likely that he won't win the game. Like, to be honest with you, you know, people that beat me, they have very unique offenses. It's not like basic stuff that you see. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know what's going on. Like, you know, pretty much like, they're like, all right, this dude is sending the whole house, but no matter how many people I block, he's still gonna get in. Once you realize that it's it's like, you know, a give and take for certain plays, like you're gonna have to run, throw the ball immediately, and guys are just gonna have to be open. That's pretty much what's gonna have to happen. So, you know, with this guy right here, we'll see what he does. You know, he just, look, look at him again. He, he just, bro, he just ran and just threw the ball away. He just ran and just threw that ball, like, all right, cool. Like, that's what it is right there. Like, that's what I'm gonna do. And remember, each time that he does that, you have to adjust, because sometimes they'll stand inside the pocket and just wait there, like right here, you see this? He'll just wait there, and it's up to Ed Reed, pick that. All right, cool, just let it, yeah, let it bounce in the air like that a little bit. That's what I'm trying to let you guys understand. Get used to adjusting every single snap. Get used to making your D-line do different things every single snap, because that will make your opponent not be able to do the same blocking every time. That That's something that's very, very good about, you know, some of the updates that Madden has done. 
you know, previous Maddox, you could just have your same block, you know, your same blocking protection all the time. But so many new things have been added, the double team ID and the mic, all that stuff. So you have to get used, you know, used to kind of like, you know, adjusting to what's going on. What is he, what is this idiot doing? Why is he getting hit stick? What is wrong with this idiot? Why did he just get hit stick? Yo, all right, everybody hit sticking. All right, cool. We got to go ahead and ID. We got to ID Pat Tillman so he can get blocked right there. Yeah, just take his legs out. That's enough for us to go for six. All right, cool. All right, pick it off then. All right, I don't know what just happened right there with Calvin, but um, the dude got, you know, straight dominated. Sherman, give him another play to Hulk. Actually, this is a very, very good matchup, and I'm going to tell you why. Richard Sherman, you know, obviously he's on the slower end of the spectrum, but this dude's coverage is insane. So if you play a guy that has Tory Holt, right, you don't really need to double. You see, like how I have Richard Sherman out there by himself, and he just, like, right there, he just dominated? He, the dude just plays unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter who he's on. You just have to know how to adjust his, you know, his zones, make sure that you switch it each time, depending on what's going on, and you should be good to go. But that dude is unbelievable. And yes, he can be burnt, but not if you put him in the right spots. All right, listen, the next guy to get hit stickers off the team. Like, bro, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this, bro. Every time I look and, and see what's happening, a dude's getting hit stick. And, and how is his feet leaving the ground? Why are you leaving? Bro, why are your feet leaving the ground when you get hit stick? Like, you know, have some self-respect, dude. Like, the dude is really, come on, man. All right, run him down. Run him down like he has a pork chop on his butt cheeks. Why wasn't that a fumble? That, that doesn't make any, why wasn't that a fumble? I don't understand. What, what? The ball came out crazy. It wasn't a fumble, though. Yeah, throw it right there. Doc, yeah, good job. Th this is pretty much what people like to see. Like, this is skill. So, like, anything else, it doesn't matter. Like, a guy running around outside the pocket every snap just throwing out routes, and then my corners being idiots, that, that's like skill. Bro, okay, just rip, rip the whole lineup. Yo, you know what I'm saying, bro? Just rip his whole offensive line open and just get in there and just take care of this idiot. Like, this guy had me raging. Un yo, like, it was really uncontrollably. Because even though I'm winning the game, he was just doing things purposely to aggravate me. Like, he, you know, he would just snap the ball, run outside the pocket, and then my guy would just stand there and watch him do it for a little bit. All right, just moss both of them. Whatever, man. Moss both of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing over there? All right, yeah, yeah. Come right in, Sap. Come right in. Yo, what's up? You want a drink or something? Let me know. What do you drink? Scotch? Like... Why is he? Okay, dot him, man. Go for six. Go for six. Just go for six. All right, cool. Uh, oh, you almost didn't get in there. What? Grunt, don't be hurtling right there, man. What is he doing, man? All right, just scream at him. Scream at him. All right, so with everything that's going on right now, we go into the second half. The dude is just Sherman, bro. Well, you don't get an animation on that, so I can't get mad about that. That's just animation-based. You're not going to be able to jump for that because they already initiated the animation for him to catch the ball going out of bounds. So there's nothing you can really do. Um, look at Sherman, bro. Yo, Sherman is just, uh, bruh, he just takes away that whole side of the field. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause it don't matter if you're running an out route or in route, I'm gonna be at your mom's route. Like whatever you're running, Sherman will be there, dog. Like, oh, okay, you're gonna throw it in the coverage? Cool, cool, man. So that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna throw it right in the coverage. No problem, man. Okay, you throwing out routes now? Night Train, you don't know how to handle that? All right, Night Train, good job, man. All right, so who are you going to now? Are right, you just gonna get sacked? All right, cool. All right, so look, listen, he's gonna try to, uh, to see if other things work. Uh, very soon. Why was Grunk jumping in the air like that? That was just a stupid animation. Get sacked then. Get sacked. Yeah, this dude was, yo, he was sending nine sometimes. Yo, he was just massacred. Bro, and you know what it is? I gotta figure out how to block this. See, that's my thing. You know, as we moss him right there and celebrate to the end zone, I gotta see if you send nine, can my guys block it? I'm not gonna change up what I'm doing, but you see like how he's throwing this in route? Just pay close attention, because I'm giving it up each time, right? Just pay, just watch, watch what happens now. I'm gonna switch his zone. Now look at Ed Reed. I have never seen like my like bro. If you, I can't tell you guys the zone that I'm in right there, but I couldn't believe he just stood there like that and he didn't move. He just stayed there. I was like, yo, this dude is raw. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like he is raw because he's he's not shifting. He's not doing any, bro. He just like, all right, go ahead, throw the in route again, and he's gonna take it for six. That alone, I was like, all right, cool. Because I've tried to get people to just stay in the same spot for so long, and they don't. They, they be moving around side to side, moving their legs around for the in route and getting dotted. Bruh, he stood right there like, all right, do what you got to do. Oh my God, human joystick. Yeah, that, that that's, um, I missed it, bruh. I missed it when I took it off of my players before. Look at Sherman, bruh. Sherman be playing outrageous defense, but still gets dotted. Like, what are you doing? But he pressing them crazy. Look at Sherman, bruh. Sherman going crazy. Look at, look at, hey, look at Sherman pressing his life. Oh, go throw it right there for six. Bro, Sherman picked the ball, man. What is he? Oh my God, bro. Like this dude. Yo, Sherman is playing out of his mind over there. Yeah, press him into the ground then. Yeah, give me that. This dude right here, bro. 
Like, let's go. Run, get up. Run it for six. Yep, there you go. Go all the way for six, too. Who is that? That's, uh, is that Joe Thomas? He's pretty fast, man. He's on steroids. Why is he that fast? Stop hurdling, man. All right, you know what? I spoke to Saquon about that, you know, hurdling after the play. I'm going to talk to you in the locker room. All right? I'm not going to be dressed as Winnie the Pooh, but I'm going to talk to you because, like, you know, let, let's cut it out a little bit. All right, throw it up in the coverage. There you go. Oh, my God. He landed out of bounds, though. He definitely landed out of bounds right there. Like, I don't care what anybody says. The dude landed out of bounds. It is no way possible you could tell me that he did not. That is ridiculous, man. All right, stay with him. Just, just press him a little bit. Yeah, press it. Yep, stay right there. Yep, throw it there anyway. Moss both of us. Yo, I'm, I'm firing both of us. Like, I would... Yo, he did... What the... Okay, cool, cool. I'm just gonna get rid of myself, too. Like, why is that idiot mossing... Okay, let me pick him off. Let me pick him off. We'll just pick him off, because this dude don't know what he wants to do. So we'll just pick him off real quick. All right, so he gonna go ahead and leave the game. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching and, um, you know, talking about Ed Reed and let me know to take a chance on him. I was really, really impressed with that. Uh, because now I know, like, depending on the coverages that I put him into, I'm still going to do a little bit more um, investigation into that 99 zone stock and see if other players can also do that with the different zones that I run. But it was very, very good to see that he helped out and made plays when it was necessary. All right, so he's a good he's a good guy right now to use up until Sean Taylor's released. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching again. One love.